This selection of flowers with koala fern, fishbone fern, beautiful roses, lilies. See the very tight bud forms there just starting to open. Uh, will be constructed. You're looking at Phalaenopsis at the moment in a bouquet holder, completely finished. That's the tilt downwards of the bouquet holder and reverse it as I'm holding it now. So you have that option. Taking out one of the Phalaenopsis, we're going to have a look at the wiring technique. It is important for a bouquet holder that we are quite clear how the flower needs to be wired. So we have a 0.71 wire, possibly also it could be 0.56 depending on the size of the flower. This is angled, white parafilmed, inserted down through the actual throat. See that going down there? And if you require a stronger wire, you can adhere that from beneath the bloom and lock together with parafilm. This actually does give you a forked wire, which can be inserted into the foam, which gives you a much better grab into the foam. You won't move or swivel around. Because the wire is there, we can tilt the head and then reinsert. Now this particular trailer is very, very formal with the Phalaenopsis, or they're also commonly known as moth orchids. The little foliage is a petostrum. You can see the dimension here up the trail, across the posy section, up to the focal bloom. Very, very formal. The bouquet that we're going to make using the roses and lilies, fishbone fern, is also a trailer, but it will be less formal. So the bouquet holder has been finished. You can see the tilt, the angle. This is now upwards. And instead of going into an actual holder to make this, it sits on the bench. And this is exactly the way that it will be held, with the handle upwards. The fishbone fern is quite strong, so it doesn't need a wire support. Glue is applied to the side. Little word of warning when using fishbone, however, with the tips. If there's any little rolled fresh tips, cut them off because they will wilt very easily. The lilies are on a good strong wire support, at least 0.9020 20 gauge. You may even go to 1.25, which is 18 gauge. The method of fastening needs to be very secure. If there are any sharp edges, you see that forking there, take your parafilm and reapply because it's very important that the wires are fused together to one point so it will pass clearly through the foam. If you don't you'll tear the foam as you go. So inserting through we want the wire to come right through the bouquet holder. You can see it coming out the other side bend it right over the guard. See that method? It's come through bend it over quite firmly and you can either wind it around or fasten it with glue as I'm doing now. Always remember too the guard must be attached with glue to the base of the bouquet holder. This is very very important otherwise it is possible that it may dislodge. If you choose not to use the glue you can use wire and the wire can be inserted through the lug areas and twisted and fastened as you see this process now. That's another option to using the wire. Make sure you press that up so there are no sharp wire edges. I'm taking time to position this on the bench because this will be held upwards and it needs to sit perfectly on the bench during its construction for correct holding. Now the trail, if you had a larger trail, the method of fastening would be exactly the same. There's a wire support on the rose that I've just picked up. Show that method again, just insert it and bring it down the stem, apply your glue and insert. Good sharp angles, glue on the side, doesn't block any drinking. 
When you do insert, make sure that you insert from the side of the foam that you're working on. You would never cross from one side to the other. You would not do this on a wide bouquet, nor would you do so on a bouquet holder. If it's going to the front, it inserts from the front. If it's the left-hand side, put it in from the left-hand side. See that very tip of the fishbone fern being removed, as we mentioned earlier. These shorter pieces can also be used as filler. And we're going to create an outline for this trailer bouquet of the fern all the way around. This would be the intention to give the texture and colour around the design. There's that internal wire being inserted and placed. And that wire has allowed the tilt of the head. Now without that, you would be unable to tilt the head up slightly. Roses being cleaned. There's an opening method that you can see. If you need more surface area, this is an excellent way of creating that beautiful look with the rose. You need to anticipate the opening time, otherwise they will tear. Now once you start using the lilies, these actually too have a short wire support, the same as the roses, but these have a very deep calyx and the anthers, those little pollinated areas on the end of the stamen, have been removed. It's very important that this is done because they could stain a gown and in fact, whilst the lily is opening, they can stain the petals of the lilies. So although they look very nice, it is impractical to leave those anthers on. These are very deep and therefore there's a lot of dimension in this bouquet. So we would probably look to bring the lilies around to the side, that's the best way of rounding the size of the flowers, to bring it down to the base level. If you didn't do this, you'd have problems camouflaging the bouquet from the side. And remember, those photographer's cameras pick up all different angles, and your bouquet should be perfect from every angle. We don't have the problem with this bouquet of colour distribution, but because the fishbone is quite lime in its green, it's tending to make the flowers look a little more green. So this is an influence that your foliage can have. You can see the angle of the insertion into those holes underneath the base of the guard, so that we're able to contour down towards where the hand will hold, and that's actually going to cover the hand when it is being held, with the handle going up into the hand. Lilies are cut on a good sharp angle. Sizes of the blooms are always a consideration. So we have our most beautiful blooms towards the centre and in fact we're grading down slightly to smaller blooms towards the sides. Roses, because we have roses interspersed through, we need to keep that disbursement right through the bouquet from left to right, from top to bottom and we're filling quite nicely on the different height levels between the lilies and the roses. It's your fishbone fern continuing to be used. Top removed. So the perimeter is being firmly established. Take some time to trim off those little curly ends because it's important that it doesn't look blunt cut and at the base of the stem always remove any extra leaves. We don't want those to be inserted into the foam, you just want the nice clean stem that applies to any of your flowers or any of your foliages when they are being inserted into the bouquet holder. You can see from the usage here with the handle up as opposed to the handle down. It's a very versatile product and certainly is well designed to suit the holding against different styles of gowns. Now there's your trail handle up and you're really starting to see a bouquet developing now. The natural stems showing in the trail 
can look very, very effective. And if you were using flowers like anthuriums, Singapore orchids, you could show those natural stems and give a more free-fall cascade type of look into your trailer. If you were using anthuriums, always look at the way the anthers face because they are very directional and in a trailer they'll usually either flow out or flow in, very similar to the way that you would place orchids. The central anthurium spadex, that central stamen section, would look down. That would be the usual procedure. Now with this particular rose, it's, it's not quite going into the foam. It's hit a slight obstruction, so therefore it comes out and is reapplied with glue. Still slightly hard to, to go in. Just persevere and you'll find, yes, right, we have the insertion for it. If there are any little extensions from the glue, almost like a little cobweb effect, make sure that they're removed at all times. It's actually a good idea to wind off with the glue gun. A little bit of the fern going in between. Nice, interesting, fluffy texture. This is a very classic design. It's half formal, half informal, and a very, very popular style. The finishing touches are being applied to this trailer bouquet. Looking at it at this stage, you really wouldn't know whether it was a fully wired structure or whether it was made on a bouquet holder. And the mechanics are our concern. The main advantage is these flowers are obtaining moisture. If you wish to create something like this for a bridal table by way of a garland going across and features, you could actually construct either in the auto corso or the bouquet holder in this manner. Looking at final checks. It's a lovely bouquet. Lovely textures, good strong focal bloom. Now we just have some final steps to finish off this bouquet. I suggest that you look in a mirror. Hold your bouquet into a mirror. If there are any gaps, the mirror is exactly the same as the camera lens. So any faults that your eye has not clearly seen, the mirror will show them to you. So always do this. In fact, some designers actually construct into a mirror. And that's quite acceptable. The weight is extremely important, should be well distributed. We have some leaves going in at the very back of the bouquet. As you can see, it's not desperate to have these, but it's just an extra professional finish. We also have the choice that we could have finished the bouquet holder off last with the ribbon. If you were creating a natural look with a sheaf style, and if the stems are inserted from the other end, this could be carried across the arm, you would probably use green ribbon on the bouquet holder to keep it looking very, very neutral and green with the foliages. Small application of water, just visually to give it that extra freshness. And you there have your completed trailer design made in a bouquet holder. This particular one is also a trailer design made in a bouquet holder. Groupings of flowers which make this bouquet more modern in its aspect. Flowing willow right at the very end. It's a very striking design made in the same way that you've just seen.